Welcome to another edition of Joe's Record Store. Right, this is noise, and uh, since I've been pressed for time during my full week schedule, family crap, and all that other stuff, I decided to squeeze in another music review right before I clock into work, which I got a good amount of time to burn for this. Oh, check this out. Good Panamanian breakfast. Empanadas de carne. Or meat. Empanadas. Coca Cola for breakfast. I know not healthy, but I want to stay awake on the ship. Anyway, um, I finally got finished listening to uh, two of the most recent releases by one of my all time favorite Rice and Scratch metal bands, Believer. And um, they put out three awesome albums during the late, yeah, that during the early 90s, and then they were on hiatus, and then 2009 they made a comeback with Angel Gabriel. And uh, for those of you who are familiar with the band, they kind of went on this neoclassical sound, this uh, arch metal, if you want to call it. And on this one, they pretty much went back to that full-on raging technical thrash metal sound, if you like the album Sanity, Obscure, Distraction for Mortality. And uh, look up those in my earlier videos on YouTube early YouTube videos, and um, musicianship is definitely top notch, they do use the enhanced instruments like they have before, but to a minimum, again, just really good overall raging thrash, little special effects in between, sorry for the glare, um, I know the glare is just horrible, but at least you can make out some of the outline. Maybe it'll look better if I just pull it out of the tray. Sparkle. Mm. Also, yeah. Nice artsy cover. Nice tribal artwork. See, where's the bloody band photo so you can see how much older they are now? Almost looks like still shots from Avatar. But this is uh, Gabriel, as in the angel Gabriel. Again, from start to finish, just good solid technical thrash metal with sound effects. And um, then some released on Metal Blade Records. And Trauma Team, that's their private production company, of course. And this one I finally finished listening to Believer, Transhuman. Again, a female uh, figure silhouette with no hair. And. Um, Almost looks like one of those cyber, sci-fi horror you see from the Japanese movies. This one is more like prog, prog metal or prog thrash. It does have some of the fast, raging thrash tracks, but again, it's more like progressive metal. The vocals are a little more tame instead of the, like the other albums before. Yeah, nice inlay card. This came out in 2001 with quotes from famous people. Oh, this would look great if they were doing like some kind of horror movie or something. Kind of reminds me of Splice. Check that out, by the way. And here they are, much older than I remember them. And, uh, so yeah, they're the most, I mean, for comeback albums after a good long hiatus, these are really good releases, probably because, you know, they've had all the time to, to uh, produce and rehearse and, uh, 
um, I guess, concentrate more on better songwriting. All in all, very great metal albums. This one is definitely more progish than uh, Gabriel, but they're both solid, strong releases. And um, hopefully, I'm getting. St hopefully, soon I'll talk about some other music later. But if you want some of the more old school, high quality uh, Christian oriented thrash, this would definitely be it. Believer. And again, check out their three earlier albums as well. You can probably hear them on YouTube for free anyway. And that's it for Joe's Record Store, Righteous Noise. Rock on, stay away from lame music.